fellow StarCraftians. Uh, Mixmaster Mike here. I'm playing hooky from work today because um, it's just been a while and I'm gonna cast a big time game. This is a big time game. We broke the record for Mixmaster Mike's um, longest game ever. This one goes for about 51 minutes. Typically they go for 25 so you know. Anyways, we're playing against Eric Terran and uh, Nathan Protoss. So, uh, we'll see what everyone does here. I'm gonna be straight up with you. I go my normal four gates, I believe. And, uh, we'll have to see what goes. This I played this game a few days ago, and I really forget what happens. I, I think we win, but I don't know. I don't know how we do it, and I know it's quite a mess. So, this is gonna be fun. We'll do this together. But, uh, probes are going out for the scout here. And it looks like Terran is gonna wall off this ramp with his Protoss buddy. Maybe not a full wall off, but something like that. Um, let's slow this down because things are going here. So, barracks right off the bat. Doesn't put it on the ramp, so uh, that's going to be for the gateway, apparently. Not typical, but okay. Istine's pool goes down at about 15 ish. Maybe it was before that because I missed it, and I'm slow. My cybernetic core is going down, so I'm just. Banking for the same kind of start I usually go for. So, uh, here's Nathan's probe. He's gonna come in and look around, see that we actually don't wall ramps off in this place. Uh, we're very... We have a very open-door policy in our bases, so if you'd like to scout, you come right in, you check out what you want to see. Um, we discourage proxy pylons, which I'm sure you'll be just doing in a second, Nathan. You little sneak. But, uh... I'm gonna leave you for a minute and go around, because I got my first Zealot out. Yeah, it's probably the first unit in the game. I get my units out a little too quickly, so... Uh, yeah. Anyway, Nathan's still chilling there. I, I hope you forget about this probe, because that could be annoying. Um, but, anyways. Still not researching Warp Gate. I couldn't tell you why, but I don't yet. But, uh, Nathan's going cybernetic score. He actually has two gateways down before his cybernetic score, so he's got a little different than me. But Marines are on the map now. And Istine's got his queen. Um, Istine's going zerglings, I see that. And I'm doing zealots. I'm waiting for this, uh, warp gate tech to go. I don't know what I'm waiting for, but... I'm waiting. Marines around the map, doing their scouting thing. Taking out my probes. Nathan, you're still chilling there. You're just still chilling in my base. I'm kind of uncomfortable with that, to be honest with you. But warp gates coming out. Four gates are going down. And this game is about to get going. Istine, I love the expand. That's about a four and a half, five minute expand. So that's what I like to see from my Zerg buddies. And my Zerg buddy would like to see for me that I'll have massive amounts of units out soon. So, uh, anyways. With Terran, they're still putting out Marines. Uh, warp Gate's on the way for Nathan, and Stalkers have appeared on the map, so that'll s that's a first. I've got my first Stalkers coming as well. Uh, I'd like Warp Gate soon, because it's good. So, anyways. Um, let's speed this up a little bit. But, uh, decent little army here for the, uh, opponents. We don't have an army yet. Oh, excuse me. Zerglings are out. And we're gonna send these down the map, it seems. So I'll slow this down and we'll catch some of the action. But, uh, Nathan's probe actually didn't scout. He just parked. He's parking. So, that's weird. He could have done things to me. Anyways, we're gonna hit the front of his base. It's walled in, so... Two things kind of happen. Here is, uh, well, we could keep them in this base forever. We could just park down the bottom of this ramp and just never let them leave. And the only person who's going to leave is Terran flying stuff out, so... Again, couldn't tell you what happens. And Nathan's probe is still in my base. And the proxy's down. What a son of a gun. I don't know if he uses it. I feel like he does a lot. So, I gotta find that, but apparently I'm just oblivious, so 
Stargates and Robos down for me with my third, my second base, excuse me, so... We got a good, we got good production going. What's happening with Protoss over here is Forge, Gateway. So he's going four gates, but he's late on his four gates. And uh, I don't really know what he's building. He's building gates, Marines, Marauders coming out, combat shields, tanks. So these guys have, they have their shit together. I'll be honest with you. I'm sorry to use language, but they have it. Istin, uh populating his second base. My second base is about half done. And the warp in has begun. Nathan is gonna cheese the shit out of me, and I think this base... Oh boy, this is gonna be ugly. Four gates is giving Nathan quite a good opportunity to do this, so... GD. I should have walked back here and saw this. Our army would have taken it very well, too, but... Uh, looks like we're gonna just group up. Got observers out finally. Um, haven't started void rays, but geez, I'm a crow. Look at this army, man. Just grows and grows, and I was unaware of it. Um, Protoss those down there first, expand a little after me. Terran's just doing the Terran thing. They're not really building much. Um,. I'm going to transfer probes to my new base, but this army is big. It's big, and, uh, it's coming, so. Anyways. Uh, concussive shells go down for the marauders. Kind of something you don't see anymore, but, I mean, whatever, let them do it. If it helps you, it helps you. Observers getting sent out. We're going to get some, uh, some photos of the area. I have a really strange inkling that this is about to slam into me right now. But, uh, you know, we've got a nice, a nice army, so if they do cheese this, we can stop it, but the problem is, can we stop it before my base becomes Swiss-cheesed with stalker badness? So, whatever, we're gonna keep building. I like the composition of the army for Istine. Uh... Not the most armored units in the game, but I can help with that. I have stalkers. So a good little army start. I can't stop watching this little thing right here. This is... I'm just waiting for it, but... These guys are kind of slow. I mean, they're building good armies, but they're just kind of slow to... do things with them. Um, my observer's right smack over their base. I don't know what the other one is, but he's around. Protoss ground armors going down. They're building. They're building turrets. I don't know where they're, those are getting built, but Terran expands over here, and Istine expands here. So he's doing very well with macro, and we're going to send our army, at least some zerglings, for a peek. And I'm going to send my army out. This is the problem: is so my army goes out. And these guys are so, oh, there's so many of them in our base. So Istine's going to hit this base, and I'm guessing when this happens, they're going to say, wait a minute, we have an army inside their base. We might as well just cheese the hell out of them. So I like this. Istine spreads the love a little bit with the Zerglings. going to take out some of these probes. Hopefully this base, as it's becoming a command center, that's a great opportunity. But, uh, the army still hasn't moved in the corner. My army's moving in, and so is the Zerg army, so... Oh boy, this is gonna get ugly. This is... No, this is a planetary fortress. So we gotta house this. And here comes their army. They're gonna head right into my base. And I'm about to be cheesed. I'm gonna get cheesed and lose most of my... everything. So. I'm gonna take out, uh, this expand if we can. I don't know why I wouldn't. I think Istine tells me to leave. I'm being cheesed just up the gonads. Um, I'm gonna take this base out. And probably everything else I own, so I'm really about to go behind. And my army... Is this kind of too far to do anything? I'd almost rather just do damage to their base and force them back. They're, they're just gonna have a base race with me. I honestly thought this game was over now, but... I mean, where is our army? We just don't have an army. So here we go. My army heads back. Oh, most of them head back. 
And we're gonna deal with this BS. He stopped warping units in, which is probably not smart, but... As you can see, my entire base goes down. At least I have mining, but... These guys kind of pooped the bed, so... We almost killed that expand. My army shows up and is gonna crash this party. Half the run. Okay, so now the mutas show up, and Istine can now provide some serious fun with this. Uh, I think the right idea would be to focus down these douchers. But I should be warping the units in, but the problem is I can only warp in two at a time, and they're gonna take me out here, it looks like, so. Shite. So once again. I'm left with an army in my base, but the Zerglings will clean this up, I hope. Nathan's warping more poop faces in here. That, I don't think that pylon ever goes away. Honestly. So the Zealots will hopefully take this guy out. And I know something right now. I know that Nathan's probably very short on cash because... He doesn't have an expand that's really working much for him, and we're hurting him. So the queen comes out. I'm still warping zealots in. Uh, like, we're just whittling away. And while we're whittling away, Terran is just beefing up. Like, seriously beefing up. But Hydras show up, clean it up, and now the task of building Mike's base begins while Nathan continues to warp shit into my base. So I would hope that we figure this out, but... I don't know what happens. I really don't know how this goes down. So we hide just down here for Esteen. This guy's mining off this base. We, I mean, honestly, we should have killed, but fuck it. So another base goes down. I'm gonna try my pylons again. I gotta build warp gates. I got a robotics bay. I don't even know why, but it obviously would have been nice. But I'm gonna get cannon rushed, apparently, is what is gonna happen here. Um, I don't know how far this cannon can see, but I would assume it's just about right where my probe line is. But Observer's out with the Hydras. We've got more Hydras down here, which I'm not even sure we know about. And I'm going to keep warping units in. You know, I have a warp gate, a Stargate, which I should be making Void Rays with soon, but... Hey, I know. I don't. This warp kind of stops. He could have probably won this game if he continued this and Terran actually helped him, but instead... They're going to do the typical, we're just going to build the biggest army possible before you even see us. But the problem is we have seen them, and I'm actually pissed off about this whole situation here, so... Uh, yeah. I hope for some action soon. So my base shows up. Um, Terran has expanded uh, the, for the first time, transferring probes over. Um, this guy's warping stuff in, and to be honest with you, I'm just getting pylons up in a cybernetics course. I'm just like as far behind as you could possibly be in this game. Is I mean, if these guys watch the replay after this, they'll probably be pretty upset with themselves. But the the game changer seems to be. Istine's economy right now, the only man with three bases, and who's had three bases since early, early. So, um, his army is extensive. He's got Hydras, he's got Overseers, Mutalisks, Swarm Hosts, and that is awesome. I hope that we use those for good here. Where are they? So they're just throwing down Harass and just keeping the center of the map under control, but, I mean, this is going to show up again. These guys will be there soon, and I don't have any units for it except Zealots, which we know how that goes, so. I'm trying to repopulate this base. Um, not building anything yet, but I have too much money. I'm like, like, look at all the money you have, and you don't do anything with it. I expand two times. Oh, boy, I didn't, I was not watching properly, everyone. I apologize. Um, so when I lost the base, it looks like I expanded to the crack, my typical uh, lazy rock thing, and then I expand again to there. And mind you, this army is in my base, and they're moving, so he's 
He's interested in something. But anyways. Swarm hosts are still just making their locusts. Making the creep over here. And down go the stargates, and I am ready for void rays. But Nathan is just conniving. He's gonna take out my new base. My probes, my new base, all that stuff. Uh, the army of hydralisks is gonna show up, and hydralisk stalkers against this army will do will do well. And they're gonna scan this. They know we're showing up. I mean, I already have three other bases, so to lose this one's okay. I just that cybernetics was such a pain. I kept losing it, and I, I can't build units with it. So. Hastings gonna send in the Hydras, and they're gonna clean this up well. Especially when these guys that show up with some serious harass, but... Clean this army up. Uh, my bases are mining. Minimally. So, everybody. With that said, Terran's army is on the map now, and it's also an army of Protoss. Like, this is a freaking crazy army. Medivax, everything. Um, but we have Ultras on the map now. I have too many, too many Zealots, but it'll help. So, we find their army. We kind of hit them from two sides. So, it's kind of nice. We split their army up. My Zealots are not welcome, clearly, but Terran's gonna push. I'm gonna warp in as many zealots as I can because that's all I can build right now. I don't have production facilities. So they'll keep doing this. I'm, I mean, looking at this army, you're just saying to yourself, hey, this is over. There's no chance. So this base is going down. I'm building void rays. I'm trying to get out as much as I can. They're probably fairly surprised at how much we actually have, and like here comes down the next base for Protoss. And there goes my base. So the game is just picking on me. We're picking on me, and thank god I had presence of mind because the swarm hosts are gonna be a big help because those are these are free units that the swarm hosts produce, so they're gonna be jammed up in there. And they don't know where the swarm hosts are, but they're there. And there's a lot of them. Here they come. I don't think they want to get involved with that, so... You can try to micro away, but eventually, they'll be back. They'll be back, and here come the next batch. You should just run away. You should run away to your little mothers and say, Mom, the swarm hosts are back and they're picking on us. Because that's what you should say. So, again, we rebuild, except this time I get to rebuild with four stargates and lots of warp gates. So at least I have something to help myself with, but I do need another base down, and meanwhile this base just grows and grows. The uh, the army scooting around, really not much going on, and it's time for some harass. Thank god I saw this, because I didn't know this happened. So, got some turrets. This guy gets very turret crazy, which I think helps us because Turrets cost a lot of money, and as you can see, his army is... I mean, it's mostly Terran army right there. Uh, these mutas are going to get away because they don't have much anti-air. You know, so... My army comes down here. We're going to try to lock this location down. Um, but now I feel... So the swarm hosts are moving out. The locusts are awesome. It's a good amount of those, too, by the way. Nicely done. So, again, my uh, my money's going somewhere. I don't know what I'm spending it on, but void rays keep churning out. I'm going to take the void rays down for a harass on the bottom right. Come to find out, this guy is just doing crazy turrets, but we're going to handle this base well. Big army of uh, void rays. I, don't, I mean, when you see this kind of a thing, you get scared. And I'm sure these kids are like, what the hell were they doing in that base? Because I'm pretty sure I destroyed three of Protoss' bases. And, I mean, whatever. But the problem was, you forgot about my Zerg buddy, too. So we'll try to run away with these. I don't think they get too many of me, but... 
more than I want. So we'll hide the void rays, but they'll be back. Don't you worry, they'll be back. And, uh... Well, for the meantime... That's happening, so... I'm gonna warp some guys in. Stalkers, of course. Still no upgrades to my units, but I'm still harassing the hell out of this army. Um, these Colossus just keep showing up on the edge of the thing here. I kept picking at them, but... I mean, if all you're going to have is Marines... Well, I guess they got Thors for anti-air, but if you're going to do that, put the Thors up front. Stop putting your Colossus there. And, like, you're just scouting me. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. So this is a big harass, and the army of Zerg shows up. They take out a bunch of Colossus here, which is very good. And Zerg's army is knocking on the door. And here it is. You're not going to like this, boys. Banlings hit the Thors, so not a whole lot of damage, but the Ultralisks even up the fight very much. Um, they'll take out the Thors, the big mech army. The swarm host are parked at the base, so this is just getting nasty for everybody. Oh, a dark temp. Oh, I'm sorry. High Templars come out. My army's back. The swarm hosts are right under my feet, and this is helping me. I like it. I like it. Sorry about the pause. <laughs> Text message. So, we lose that fight. But as you can see, every time we get into these fights, we're doing a little bit better. And now they're not destroying my bases either. So, I'm feeling like I could put down a new base soon. But the problem is my production is stalled, and they still have a big old army on the map. But still just two bases each. So, they're going to be getting mined out, and their first base has got to be mined out totally. Yeah, and same thing with Protoss. So, really just one base each, and Protoss is not mining well. They're trying down here again. We'll see what happens there. But this team makes so many Ultralisks. I haven't really given him much time of day because really the action's been in the Protoss bases, but he's got four amazing bases, and uh, he's doing well. So I'm going to pause this. I need, uh, need to meet up a friend, but... Sorry about the pause there, everybody. Um, anyways, we've got some action going on here down the map where Istine just took the Ultras to this base but uh, found some pretty hard resistance going on from this uh, tank and the uh, Colossus on the ridge. Not good. But, uh, you know, Void Ray's still giving some issues over here. I tried to send my army to harass and it actually works out. I think uh, I'm going to be able to take this base, but uh, this is too many... Surprisingly enough, I mean, that was too many Vikings for me to handle, and he just uh, didn't have confidence up. Didn't actually see the uh, stalkers on the side here, obviously. <laughs> Excellent game casting, Michael. So we'll harass this base a bunch, uh, give Istine a chance. He's, he's got another base going up here, so we're just pounding away at economy. But, um,. Terran realizes that, you know, this base is, well, besides gone, it was also mined out, so earlier he started building this here, so, uh, I don't know if we've seen that yet or what, but, um, these guys are hurting, and, uh, you know, looks like our economy is going strong, I still haven't rebuilt this base down here, but, I mean, warping in units and just getting void rays and stalkers really is all we were thinking, because Istine was strong enough, I mean, look at this, it's the classic... The classic end game, what do you call it? Speed zerglings, but don't send them in uh, for the end game, I'll tell you that right now. But anyways, so this planetary finishes up. Uh, I don't know where my army is. I think it's gone. Unless I pulled it back. Looks like I pulled it back. And so now I'm just warping in units. I'm going to try some more harass because, I mean... We had momentum, and these guys were not mining, they didn't have much, so this is all this this guy had right now. So send the voids in, take this down, and uh, Istine takes the army. I think um, 
You know, we've been using a strategy where Istian was just going to take the army, take that command center down, and, uh, and I would be taking air units for harass. It's been working. I mean, I, I like void rays. It's not like it's hard to use them. They're unstoppable, but um, if you can harass well with void rays, I mean, do well for yourself. So, uh, Stalkers will handle these Vikings, and uh, Zerg will take the ramp here, but this ramp is very well defended. The siege tank is doing serious damage. But, uh, you know, distraction enough for what we needed. And the Stalkers are kind of just laying down fire. I mean, they're not even taking anything from Terran yet. But here comes the Thor and the, uh, well, the Dark Templars. So now, Secrets out, Dark Templars are on the map. I think they've been on the map for a while bugging us, but uh, we just took out Terran's last base. I'm probably, I mean, he's got, he's still got money somehow. Where's his money coming from? Oh, forgot about that. I forgot about that base. Sorry, bad casting. Yep, so Terran is mining, and, uh, oh, yep. <laughs> I know, I know, Esteem, he's talking to me. So, and there he is. Now I'm going to try to harass this base, but these cannons are a pain in the butt, let me tell you that. So, I'll bring these around the back. Nathan's got his observer. I didn't realize he saw that the whole freaking time. But, uh, he kept that observer on me well. That's a good idea, just to track me in my, uh, harassing army. But anyways... I'm going to take this base out, going to avoid the turrets, but they're there, so that's a pain, but not too many pylons. Uh, so, nice job, Esteem. Didn't see this, but uh, he's moving his units around the map here, playing something big. We'll follow that as the uh, the voids harass, but here comes Esteem, going to take this Thor and army out, but uh, this is unstoppable. The problem is that the Terrans are... Uh, just don't have a lot of money. No more gas. They can only do marines right now. And Protoss. Not a lot of money. That is a ton of money, but I'm not going to do it. Ramp is still well defended with the Colossus. And Colossus are just bad news for Zerg. They're great against ground and... Ugh, here we go. So, um, looking for detection. I'm sure I'm being screamed at that I don't have robos, but uh, the observers would help, so... I'm going to start turning those out, I think. If I don't, sorry, Esteen, but... He's going to try to rebuild this base again. This, I mean, this area is a very big hotspot for my cheesing, and the middle of the map is kind of where Esteen was battling. But, oh, these things are killing The Overseers, I'm sure he's trying to pump some of those out, but... It's just kind of a pain right now, so... A um, little lull in the battle. I'm building my next base again. Turrets continue, but they're kind of unnecessary because you don't have anything to back it up, so... These stalkers um, kind of hung on the ridge for a while, and I wasn't able to do anything with their base, but... Nathan still <laughs> always knew where I was. I wish I had my own observer with me. That's what I'll do. I'll, I'm going to start bringing a little observer with me on my missions like this. This strategy continues, but... He's all over the map with those observers, isn't he? So I'll run away from these guys, really just sort of taking them. I think I do turn around and just vaporize them, but, uh... In the meantime, Overseers are here. What are these guys? Banlings with the Ultras, so... Um, this is gonna be nice. I don't know if the Banlings have upgrades yet, but speed would be good. I'm not exactly building units anymore as far as Warp Gate goes. I'm just going Void Rays, and the Ground Army is being handled by the Zerg Master Flex back here, so like the style. I could actually take this base now that it's kind of not really a focus, but um, Istine's pointing to me that he wants to hit there, or he wants... I'm not sure what he's thinking, but he's telling me something's going on down there, so I have my Void Rays. They're much closer, but his ground dummy's going to head out. He's got Banling speed. Didn't realize that, but... Get those Overseers over there, buddy. Oh, boy. Here we go. So we'll take these guys out. Look at these split. Waste of the Banlings. It was kind of shitty micro, but it's not easy when the army's all clumped up. Then for the doubt. Siege tank up on the ridge is going to be a pain, but uh, the ramp battle here was really... I should have helped him better with the, uh, the Void Rays. That was a bad teammate, so... Here come my Void Rays. We're going to get him out in the open, which is kind of what we wanted anyways, right? So... We're going to head in. So, not really much anti-air over here, but the Stalkers. So, we'll let him handle those Stalkers. I'll take the um, Colossus. And Justin, Istine, whoever the hell you are, I am sorry. But, 
you know. There goes our army. So, poops. It's too bad. We need some units, quick units, so we'll probably warp some guys in. Probably get uh, a mothership core for some reason, but uh, you're there. And uh, Void Ray's on the way, so... Production, got some everything really coming, so Istine's pounding stuff out. Army's already back to the map. He's got just some Zerglings, so sorry, not really an army, but Zerglings, Banlings. I bet we'll see Ultras soon. And, uh, what's going on with you guys? Stalkers, I mean, they're out of money. I don't really imagine them mining much. I wish I had a production tab here, but I don't know the button, and I'm not going to try to look for it, because... This guy's doing the crack, and that's a great idea. Too bad you can't fly, so... It's kind of useless, but... Get some target practice in, because you're going to need it. And, uh, turns out I'm going to expand here. And, uh... The dreaded wall of trees will protect me from his turrets as long as he keeps them behind there, so I'll, I'll be safe. Uh, my probes will come down. I really wasn't mining anything anymore, except I had this one base, and now... Well, I mean... <laughs> good one. So I finally do this. I was thinking about it in hindsight, but Zergling's head in. This is still not a good idea, this ramp, but I guess the constant pressure's gonna make him give eventually. I mean, Protoss doesn't have too much money, and the Banlings nice on the tank. Nice on the tank. That thing was giving him all the trouble, but Colossus up on the ridge still will be deadly, and these guys without detection, so... Wasted an army, but gained, you know, a lot, you know, in the end, so... Void Rays are back. Uh, these things I don't like, but see how I handle this. I totally forget, <laughs> to be honest with you. So I might come into the front here. Oof. All right. So Army Firstin coming back online again. Um, he's going to expand again. Excellent idea. So he's going to be bombing units. Finally get the rocks down, which frees up the probes a little bit. So harass goes on. I'm just going to say, you know what? I'm taking the whole thing of turrets probably lose a couple here, but what do I gain? I gain taking all of his production away. And you can tell he wants it, but we're going to lose it. And you probably just saw my base there, too, so... Um, Istine's army gathers at his new expand, and I'm going to take the voids away. Should have taken those turrets down, but, I mean, what really are they going to be doing, so... I see nothing going on there. Head to the back of the base. Now, the Stalkers are obviously gone from uh, a while ago, so I could probably just annoy him a little bit. I don't see much army movement. He's sending a drop over to a base, so... GD, man. It's not going to do much. Uh, but, we'll see what happens there. I'll keep an eye on you. The stalkers are back, so I'm like, god damn. So maybe go back to the turrets, but... Um, Zergling speed will protect any drop, no matter how it is. So he's going to see that everything's mined out, and now he's just going to find a queen and all kinds of spore crawlers. So nice job, dude. So that's happening. Uh, flyers at this base. Great great idea there. Uh, pops out a few flyers, takes that down, and uh, this drop's happening. So unfortunately, I'm going to try to send some void rays his way, and this team's going to handle that. I'm going to handle the turrets. Bunch of fights gone. Flyers, you know, this guy's on fire. That's gonna be going down, and uh, the drops are handled. A couple of void rays, some units, and, uh, you know, these guys must have a bunch of kills these days. No, no, yep, kind of. <laughs> kind of a new pack of boys, but I'm gonna give up on the turrets. Maybe take a pylon or two out. I don't know. But this team's got a nice little Zergling army going, and that's all we really need because, uh, not much production. The unit tabs. I'm not looking good, really. Colossus, Stalkers, six Marines. I mean, this poor guy has no money. He's just fighting with probes, and um, I think at some point, Istine sees it. He's like, oh, dude, they're sending the probes out. We got this. Because we were, I mean, this, this game was really, this was a crazy game, you know? So. Take this out. I'll send those guys into the base to finish them off. But uh, in the meantime, the army's going to head up, and I don't know where... This thing is, but here's the Zergling her assault here. And look at that. What, did, what was that? Oh, Viper. Oh, nice. Didn't mention the Viper, buddy. Nicely done, but 
Still, army gets handled. The, the SCVs are just handling shit. But in the meantime, look at them now with this. They say, hey, this team, there's a bunch more void rays on tap. Take them out. But uh, this is actually not going well for us. So, these guys probably are feeling confident. Eric's base is gone, but he's still got a lot of stalkers, and the SCVs are just tanking the thing, sadly, so. These things pumping units out. I'm taking out bases. So, I'm kind of just waiting for the end. I'm waiting to tell you guys that we win this, but, you know, this is, oh, oh. This is very ominous looking. I wish that actually meant anything, but, you know. Imagine that at the end of a game you could send over Terran Terran base units as like suicide bombs that were like nukes. And this is what's happening right now. We're just freaking out. But I mean Isteen does kind of take a hit here, but I mean in the end, what is he really losing? He's losing a base and maybe you know, his spawning pool gone? His spawning pool's gone, so. Ouch, hope you're kind of building one, Buster. So, anyways, this is continuing. Oh, so the nukes arrive, and uh, my void rays don't really seem that big anymore, but... Isteen's got that, I'm gonna take the, the flyers, and I t I'm so scared of those nukes, but we really gotta take the ground army first, regardless of what happens with the bases. So here we go, I mean, I think the void rays are looking pretty snazzy right now. The marines are perfect against them, so... Kinda need to take them out, guys. More arrive, they're probably kind of scary to him, and, uh, this is it. We're not producing. Get us some detection, because those are gonna suck, but... Come on. Get some detection down here. Get some detection down here. I mean, I've got money to spare. I should start just making zealots, mass zealots. But the SCBs are about to win this, and at the last second, Nathan leaves, and we win this. Guys, it was it was a pleasure. I'm sorry if I sounded tired, but this was a big game and I've had a long weekend, but wow. I like StarCraft, so um, hope you enjoyed it. That was a big game. Uh, if you have critiques, which I'm sure uh, everyone will, please tell me and I will keep sending these out. Peace out.